All right, Anita and Alex, here is the New York City Mayor Eric Adams story. He's announcing steep budget cuts on Thursday and blaming the city's financial problems on the influx of migrants. We're in some serious financial trouble right now. And we just had to announce a budget cut in our services in the city, a total of $12 billion to pay for the asylum seekers, migrant crises that our city was hit with. New York expected to spend some $12 billion more. Yeah, um, look, this is cutting, this is defunding the police without actually saying defund the police. Uh, that is what New York City Democrats are doing. They're taking away from taxpaying, law-abiding uh, citizens, services that they deserve, that they've paid for, and they're shifting it to individuals who have flowed into our country and uh, not following the proper rules and protocol. Uh, and the mayor has a lot of fault here as well, uh, because he actually misinterpreted the right to shelter law and insisted that it was meant for citizens of other countries when it was solely meant for homeless New Yorkers. I mean, this is an argument we've been making over and over again. The mayor by no means had to do what he did, which was put all these individuals in luxury hotel rooms, offer them free attorneys, offer them free education and services. Uh, he should have been focusing on the, the actual citizens who pay those taxes here in New York. And the second thing is he should be calling on the president to repeal his executive orders that created this crisis to begin with. We can easily go back to the policies of the previous administration. And he can also call on Chuck Schumer, who is the senator from his city, happens to be the head of the Senate, allow our bill, our Border Security Act, H.R. 2, to come for a vote. I am sure if it did, it would pass the Senate and we could resolve this today. Well, let's take a look at what else is on the chopping block here. I think we have a graphic showing of what else uh, the mayor is cutting. He's uh, not only is there uh, going to be a freeze on hiring of police, but there's the cutting of the education department by a billion dollars. They're closing libraries on Sundays. Um, so it, it seems to be a lot of things that are really going to hurt uh, New Yorkers. Um, and I want to play, if we can, uh, just one other soundbite from the mayor, if we have it, uh, talking about uh, how he thinks this is unfair to certain groups of people. Let's listen. This is unfair to the asylum seekers and migrants, and it's unfair to New Yorkers who have been here for years upon years. The national government must do their share. This is a national problem. So he's sort of shifting the blame to the national government. But I thought it was interesting, and I want to get your take on this, that he mentioned that it was unfair to migrants first before he mentioned that it was unfair to New Yorkers who have lived there for a long time. Your take on that? Yeah. You know, once again, the, the mayor has misguided priorities here. We are a city of immigrants. We welcome immigrants. But let me tell you something. The immigrants in this city are the ones that I think are the most pissed off because, quite frankly, they followed the rules. They sacrificed. They worked really hard. And now they're being told that they need to pay billions of dollars in services for people who broke the rules. My parents were immigrants. They came to this country. They never asked for a dollar from the government. They never, no one ever paid for their housing or for their services. So to tell the citizens of New York that they need to spend billions, not just spend the billions, but on top of it, they're not going to have school safety officers officers in their school. They're not going to have police officers patrolling their neighborhoods at a time where crime is still much higher than it was years ago. And we are 6,000 officers less than we had on September 11th. Not to mention the dangers of this open border, the fentanyl that is killing New Yorkers, killing our young people. You saw the one-year-old boy in the Bronx and so many others that are being killed by the drug cartels who are peddling and trafficking this drug on the streets. So the, the mayor should be putting Putting, uh, New Yorkers first. And that means telling your Senator Chuck Schumer, telling your leader Hakeem Jeffries, both from Brooklyn, both from New York City, to work with us to actually secure this border. We can get it done today if we just had cooperation from the Democrats in Washington. Instead, he's asking for Washington to write a big check. He just wants money to continue to open up more shelters and more encampments. You don't hear him actually say, stop the unsustainable flow that is unsafe and un 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 unsustainable for my city, uh, he's asking for more money to allow this to continue. Yeah.
Well, it does seem like the absolute worst time to cut the number of police officers in New York City with all that is going on that you just mentioned. Uh, it seems like a time to be adding police officers, but uh, uh, we'll see when that day comes. In the meantime, Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis, thank you so much for your thoughts today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.